Yeah, the bar owners try to keep people out of way from front of their establishment. But me and you both know that doesn't happen. I'm up not here 100%. 100%. No. Not hardly ever, not maybe 10%. But as soon as, as soon as they close, there's nobody in the bar to move. As the sheriff, though, you allow this to happen. You allow these bars to do this to our people. And you're the one who should be held accountable. I don't. You know well, that? You're doing. the sheriff. You're voted in by the people right. to protect their town, to make it safe. Is this not your town, your people's town, or no? This is part of Sheridan County, yes. Yeah. Okay, so why don't you protect this town from alcoholism and what's going on? It's okay. killing my people. Okay, then you give us enough money so I can afford to hire three Ask more these bars hours. for money. Yeah, okay. Like They're building, we're order. poor, we're 80% unemployment. Ask these bars for money. You're the sheriff. Say you're killing these peoples. We're gonna start finding you. Can't you make a law against it? Or you can't do anything to help us at all. I can't. The liquor commission controls the bars, and we enforce the liquor commission. Oh, you so you're not enforcing the law, sheriff. Because if this was downtown Lincoln O Street, every single one of bars would be ticketed, and their license would be yanked the next day for doing this downtown Lincoln O Street to college students. There's absolutely no difference between here and. White Clay oh, and downtown Lincoln, except the lack of enforcement. You're allowed to arrest people. The lack of enforcement. Yes. Once again, the lack of enforcement. Right. You can't sell to women who are prostituting themselves for liquor. Right. Okay, those are happening here. So do what? I have any proof of that? Are you investigating that? They, Open your they eyes, you have up. plenty of proof. One of mom and your stores, I've seen a store owner come out. You can't work there and get and beat a guy, and I have to get out to stop it. That store owner that owns that store, and then another one that first bar came out with a five gallon uh, bucket full of pickle juice and threw it on people that were passed out in front. That's not right. That's a And then they were ticketed. In, no, in they front. weren't ticketed. Yes, they were. I want to see the detail. It wasn't even they, a cop up here. I know, but we investigated and ticketed. So I went to public safety city so and all this abuse we that went, happening. We went and investigated. Does he still work there? At that store? I don't know. How about the ones throwing uh, pickle juice on people that are passed out there? He said it's bad for their business. Yeah, they sell them. <laughs> they hit them well, like I said, when we get a complaint about that, we <laughs> investigate it. If they did something wrong, we ticket them. We need 24 hours, someone taking pictures up here. So